Hello everyone and welcome back to Hoddle or Cell, where we'll be breaking down Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos number one. In the end, we will let you know if we plan to hodl or sell. As always, this is not financial advice, but purely for entertainment purposes only. Also, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification button to receive updates on all our content. This video is sponsored by Elite Comics 11, Instagram's number one community-powered comic sales page. This Thursday, May 26th, we are getting the Silver Age comic, Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos number one. First appearance of Nick Fury. Story by Stan Lee, with art and cover by Jack Kirby and Dick Ayers. Nicholas Joseph Nick Fury is a spy, former director of S.H.I.E.L.D., and founder of the Avengers. In the comics, Sergeant Fury is portrayed as a cigar-chomping leader of an elite U.S. Army unit, rising to the rank of colonel before his honorable discharge. He would later become a CIA operative during the Cold War, primarily operating in Soviet territory. Portrayed by actor Samuel L. Jackson, Nick Fury first appeared in the end credit scene of the 2008 film Iron Man. He has since been in 11 MCU films and will appear in the upcoming Disney Plus miniseries Secret Invasion, set to be released in 2022, and the upcoming film The Marvels, set to be released in 2023. According to Go Collect, Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos No. 1, as a 9.4 grade, sold for $28,680 back in 2013. There are no 9.8s or 9.6s on the CGC census, and GoCollect currently does not have an estimated value for the 9.4 grade. But with only 7 copies on the CGC census, we estimate this comic could sell for over $125,000. Before we give our final verdict, we want to remind you that digital slabs are now available at cherrycharts.com. For our final verdict, we give this book a hodl. This is a very significant and scarce comic, with the first appearance of a very important and popular character in the MCU. Given the historical and pop cultural value of this comic, it's easy to presume it will continue to increase in value over time, making this comic a safe floor with solid upside. So if we land the comic on drop day, we will also be looking to snipe good deals in the marketplace for the long term hold. Please make sure to reference the spreadsheet on our link tree for each comic definition and ranking. The link will be included in the details below. Overall, we still believe that Silver Age, Key, and Grill books should have the best long-term value. Also, if you would like to see our weekly comic book rankings, please make sure to follow us on Twitter at Comics and Crypto, where we will have new VV comic book rankings every Monday. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and check out the rest of our podcasts on Apple, Spotify, and Amazon. Along with our weekly episodes, we will also be doing a hot or sell video the day before every drop to help you make the best decision for your collection. Special thanks to Nine Finger for their incredible intro music. You can find them on Instagram at Ninefinger999. Make sure to stop by and give them some love. Thank you all again for tuning in, and we will see you on the next one. Comics and crypto, crypto and comics collect.